Hello. Hello. Hi guys. How have you been? It's been so long. I need to do this really quick. <laughs> thank you for the four months essence G F X. And thank you for the eleven months I'm Astria. Thank thank you. And thank you for the 23 months ace and thank you thank you thank you for the three months help please thank you thank you i know this is like a little different than my usual uh really lazy t-shirt get up but yeah i mean i just you know sometimes you just oh, really bright. sometimes you feel like not being like a slug so that's what i decided today <laughs> Hi, Maiden. My day was... It's been a little bit less than subpar. And let me explain to you the reason why is because I woke up with a headache. I still have it now, but yeah, I don't know. Like whenever I get headaches, it's it's not like as painful as a migraine, but when I get headaches, it, they tend to last for a really long time. I already took Advil. I already took two two Advils. <clears throat> Drink some water, but I mean it's still here, so I can't help it. And I hate having headaches because then I just don't feel like doing anything. But you know, I'm here. Thank you for the two months, children. Thank you for the two months. I'm Jay was taken. Thank you for the thank. Thank you for the sub with Prime ish. Thank thank you. Hello everybody. How are you guys? Honestly. Like, I've been wanting to stream the past, like, for, like, the past almost week. But then, you know, I mean, maybe you guys don't know. But sometimes, you know, when, when you're a girl and you have that time of the month, you just don't feel like, like, you're just tired constantly. And then you don't feel like doing anything. You just want to lay there. That was me this week. So, Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the 11 months, Yande. Thank, thank you. <clears throat> but, you know, it's... It, 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 it'll be better. It's fine. So, I apologize for my absence for a while. But, yeah, that's what I've been... Um, that's what I've been up to for, like, the past few days. Just... Laying around in pain for like the most part, I'm just like, oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> feel better? Do I feel better now? Uh, I feel okay. I still have my headache, but other than that, it's been okay. Honestly, I I feel like my whole body's just breaking apart. Like I woke up this morning, my wrists kind of hurt. Yet last night, my lower back hurt. It was because I was playing games, so. Like, whenever I play games, I'm, like, more leaned in, and it's so bad for my posture, so. Yeah. <clears throat> thank you for the 19 months state warriors. Thank you, thank you. Odds of me saying sheesh on stream. Um, like a genuine one? It, it, it would take a lot. Like, off stream, I could probably say it, like, any time when I'm in game, I'd be like, you know, I, I would just let it, let it happen, but... On stream is, is a little different. <clears throat> Did I pick a build for PoE? Yes, actually. I'm going to play Blazing Salvo Mines. <laughs> and I said I wasn't going to do Mines, but then I was just like, Mines are just so easy to leak start, so that's what I'm going to be doing. But at least whenever I start Mines, they're always different, you know? Like last league, I started Purifying Flames. The other league, I liked it ball lightning and then the one before that I did what what did I do? I don't remember. Not not too sure. I did a different iteration of mine so thank you so 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 much for gifting 20 subs Dunam thank 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 you if you guys got a sub from Dunam please make sure to say thank you. Thank you so 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 much. <laughs> did I ever finish Heart Gold Soul Silver post game? No I I beat the leap four, but then I stopped after that. I'm pretty sure. I don't even. Did I beat that? I don't even remember where I left off. 
New link tomorrow, am I excited? Yes. Um, I believe I'm streaming at 8 p.m., 9 p.m. Because <laughs> I know that I'll be done or I'll be to maps by then for sure. So it's like I wanted to start streaming when I got to maps because I think the leveling process is really boring. So I just want to like get it out of the way and then stream it. <clears throat> Thank you for the five months, Sheeplicious, and thank you for the 18 months, Sapphim. Thank you, thank you. Leveling is really, really boring. Thank you for the four months, Sobofob. Thank, thank you. You. Sorry. I mean, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, the P PoE release time is like tw 12 p.m., I think. Is this a new stream title? This... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a different stream title. Good evening to you, too. <laughs> I kind of look like the battle pass. Thank you. <laughs> Would I mind raiding a friend stream? I feel like it's a little weird to ask for. I mean, like, I, I feel like that I, I understand the good intentions, but it's a little odd, I think. Thank you for the five months invoke. Thank, thank you. Hello, everybody. What are you guys up to on this fine Thursday evening? Or I guess wherever you guys are right now. Whatever time it is for you. Thank you for the 26 months, Jeff. Thank you, thank you. Play gaming Apex. Dude, I played Apex yesterday. One of my friends DC'd from the game, so I spent like a good minute punching him because he was like out in the open and we dropped and then I spent a good minute like punching him back into a building so he wouldn't die. <laughs> it's 11 a.m. West Coast for the new link. Really? It's 11? I thought it was 12. Because when I checked the site, it said 20 hours when it was 4 p.m. So I was like... Hmm? I, I don't know. Thank you for the two months ammo, and thank you for the 11 months Alistair. Thank, thank you. Did we win that game? No. Someone actually found us and uh, they, they killed him, so it was a little unfortunate. But I mean, it the thought... It's the thought that counts, you know what I mean? Thank you for the 10 months, Drew. Thank, thank, thank you. Check this out yourself, but you're also from the UK, so... It, Maybe yours, Jeff. Yeah, um, I checked earlier today and it said, yeah, I, I, I think it's 12 p.m. over here. Thank you for the sub with Prime Kick Boy. Thank you, thank you. Hello, how am I? I'm doing okay. Just, yeah. did, did you see that Apex is going to do something that's not VR? Oh, is it the new game mode? The one where it's like, wait, no, that, that wouldn't make sense. I did see the new game mode where it's like you have a chance to play again if you die, but I I don't know what else they're doing with the game. Or I mean yeah, I mean I haven't I haven't really been catching up with anything. What build am I gonna run for PUE? I'm going to run Blazing Salvo Mines. Honestly, I was thinking about doing like a practice practice league start later today, because I mean I literally have nothing to do and I kinda just feel like sitting back and <laughs> You don't need pra I know you don't need practice, but just like, you know, so I get myself ready and like, maybe I'll just be faster. Where'd I get my glasses? They're from Glasses USA, I believe. Practice my logout tech? Honestly, yeah, I, I, sh I don't do that enough, I feel like, but... Maybe I'll just be blessed with a lot of portal scrolls later. I mean, I know I'll be picking those up for whatever odd reason that I like to pick them up for. But yeah, you, you really don't need any, uh, any practice if you're going to level with mines. It's pretty straightforward. They nerf Brandis going... It's so funny because, like, when I think about it, most games, when you read, like, the patch notes for it, you're like... It's like a little small list and you're like, all right, but PoE, like when you, <laughs> when I opened the patch notes for 
ultimatum, I was just like, wow, this is like an essay. This is like a book. There's so much to read. <laughs> thank you for the sub, Nablab. Thank you, thank you. Maybe blessed with an exalt early. Thank you, thank you. I hope so as well. Celine said, I hope I get money. She hopes that I get money too, so I'm just... May Celine bless me in my early findings for PoE. <laughs> mirror? I wish I got a mirror. But I mean, like, if I had a mirror, I probably would just hold on to it, and I don't know what I would do with it. Thank you for the 23 months, Aaron. Thank, thank you. Thank you for the sub with Prime Shadow. Thank you, thank you. My eyes. How many hours do I have in PoE? I have no idea. I play like straight from the PoE client. I don't play off Steam. I wish I did though, so I would have a... I would just know how much I've played. But a lot of my PoE hours are idle hours because I leave the game on. I leave my PC on when I go to sleep, especially when I play PoE, so... It's because, um... <laughs> especially early on, is, a. Uh... <laughs> Like, if I, if I go to take a nap, like, in the beginning of League Star and I don't want to miss a sale, I put my... Instead of having the volume come out of my earbuds, I put it on my monitor speaker, because I don't have actual speakers, it only comes, comes out of my monitor. I put it all the way to 100%. I put my PoE noise to 100%, so it's like, if I hear the message sound, I'll wake up. So it's like... I <laughs> Like, like, and I, no one else is gonna be awake at that hour too, so I just, I just have it open, I'm just like napping on my bed, and I just hope I hear the, the sound and I get up. It's like, yeah, if I have, if I just feel like I have to pass out, I just, that's what I do. Next level trading tech. Honestly, I wish I could like, make the volume louder, so I would just like, actually wake up, but sometimes I hear it, and I'm just like, I hear bing, bing, and I'm like, uh. It depends on like what kind of what kind of things I'm selling, I suppose. And before waking up to a one C sale, nah, I yeah, I mean, we'll see. <laughs> Addicted? I mean, like anything for the grind. You know what I mean? Like every little thing counts, especially like in the beginning when you're starting out and you need that money, like maybe later on, you're just like, eh, whatever. But like in the beginning, like you, you need it. You want, you want money early on in the game. I want to, I, I hope I get rich in the beginning. You know, if I stream, like maybe I'll get some streamer luck for the game. We'll see. I didn't chaos vendor at all, but I, I'm thinking about doing it this league. <laughs> Do I still play Apex? I played Apex like yesterday, but I don't play it much anymore or at all. It's like a kind of like a last resort thing with me and my friends. Like if we're that bored, maybe we'll play Apex. Me for the six months, K Dog. Me, thank you. <laughs> Hope you get rich to your. Honestly, not in the game. Oh, so you just, you're hoping that you just get rich. I mean, I hope, you know, everyone, everyone could get rich. That, that, would, that would be great. Still play Overwatch? Actually, me and my friends were talking about Overwatch earlier because I was, I was saying that like, yeah, I, I was thinking about streaming. They're like, oh, you should stream. Right, but then I was like, I want to stream, but like, I also want to play games. And they're like, oh, why don't you just like stream games? And then uh, they're like, you should stream Valorant. And I was like, no, there's no way I'm streaming that game. Like, I I don't like streaming games unless if I think I'm good at it. So it's like, I wouldn't stream that game. But they're like, oh, come on. I was like, no. And then they're like, okay, how about Overwatch? And I was like, that just made me not want to stream at all. Like, I, I don't, that, that just deterred me from everything that I wanted to I I, I don't want I don't want to play Overwatch. <clears throat> I mean, Overwatch was fun during the time you know that I did enjoy it, but like Overwatch in twenty twenty one is like no, thank you. I've never played. O I mean, I've played Osu, but like I, I'm really bad at it. 
Yeah, Overwatch was fun for like the first few seasons and then... <laughs> You played today and it's not worth going back. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm talking about. So I know League streams. I haven't played League in like a month or two. It's been a while, I feel like. I just I just don't have an interest in playing League much. I know the new champion came out. Uh, or she's playable, Gwen. She looks uh, interesting, I suppose. Does my constant runny nose bother me or did I get used to it over time? I'm used to it. I mean, it's just like a habit. And I honestly like don't notice it much unless if it starts getting really runny, but if it's just like over time, like a little bit, then it's whatever. But I just feel bad because like if it is bothersome to people, like if I'm just here, I'm just, <laughs> Constantly, I'm just like, man, it's like the equivalent of, you know, when you have to cough during a test or maybe, maybe you have to like sneeze or something. Yeah, that, that's how I feel at least. <clears throat> excited for POV tomorrow? Yeah, I'm excited. I feel like I've, <sighs> there's not like a game that I really enjoy playing right now. So I'm excited to play POV, but honestly, I feel like. I mean, I'll have to play the league and see how it goes, but I don't know if I'll play the league for that long. We'll see, though. Thank you for the four months, Mr. Sloan. Thank you for leveling practice this stream. I was honestly thinking about doing leveling practice, but I feel like I'm just so slow. I mean, I don't know. It's the same thing, just storm blast mines. Do it, please. <laughs> I don't know. I think it might put me to sleep. Like, my eyes feel tired, and I think I, I think I'm gonna fall asleep if I <laughs> try to level. <laughs> Do I play TFT? No. I, I quit TFT, like, uh, after set one. <laughs> I did play, like, casually for some other sets, but I, I haven't touched it in a really long time. Thank you for the 18 months, you Jill. Thank you. But if you get a good night's sleep, you'll be able to play longer for tomorrow. But then the thing is, like, I can't fall asleep during stream. Like, I think if I fell asleep at least at 12 p.m. Oh, sorry, a.m., then it would be good enough for me. Because if I... Uh, no, actually, I think my usual bedtime, a little earlier. If I sleep at 2, 2 a.m., I think it'd be good. Because then I'd probably wake up by, like... 10 and then i'd be and then there's probably a queue for login queue for pov then and then that uh, would be fine but i don't know we'll see <laughs> without your practicing how will i not how will i know how to get to the 12 if you want to know how to level fast what you guys should just go watch tai tai killer like i don't know how to level, but i'm i'm a snail compared to like the people, you know, who are like racing to get all those achievements. I, you see like, this person is the first one to enter blah, like whenever you're on POE. I'm like a, I'm like a two day Murvale. Thank you for the four months, Grenady. Thank you, thank you. Do I have a dedicated art page? No. That used to be like my Tumblr back in the day, but I don't use Tumblr anymore, so I just post I just post a, a, a mixture of things on everything now. <laughs> as some as someone who has never played PoE, is now a good time to get into it? Yes, because the league is just starting. So then you'll be like on equal footing with everyone. But then I mean the the the, the takeaway is that you have a lot to learn, but it's probably a lot more fun to do it at the beginning rather than like later on the league because because the market really like fluctuates throughout the league like in the beginning of the league you could probably find things for much cheaper but then like things get like immensely expensive later on you know or like not that affordable for you but is poe pay to win nope it's completely free actually the only thing you have to pay for that I think, you know, is 
necessary, like if you want to keep playing the game for a while, is stash tabs. Those are quality of life things. Like you don't have to have them, but like you also need to buy buy one if you want to actually sell sell things. So <laughs> thank you for the sub, Checkmate Panda. Hi, Kelvin. <clears throat> Like, all the stash tabs, like, if I look at all of them, they're so useful. The fragment tab, currency tab, map tab, div card tab, be just, just, just everything. Delve tab is even nice. What stash tab do I not have? That's what I'm thinking about. I think I've eventually bought almost every stash tab. I have an essence tab. That's actually really useful because I hated just having my essences in a tab and uh, everything just looks nice and organized, you know. <laughs> yeah, okay. The tab you don't need is the unique stash tab. Like no no one needs to use that. No no one needs that. Who who collects unique uh, no. You don't need that. But everything else is like everything else is pretty pretty nice to have. <laughs> Hi Saint. Uh, I'm actually streaming PoE tomorrow, so PoE stream tomorrow. There's a lot of like, um, so am I gonna have a tremor rod when I turn stream on? I that that would be nice. Like I wish I could. Uh, who knows? Like if I get lucky, if I get rich, sure. But maybe not. We'll see. I'm wearing overalls. No, it's like a. It's like a top on top of his shirt. What types of classes do you have? Um, there's, there's, uh, there's like, what is there? Shadow. Uh, the the old guy. <laughs> I can't think of the names right now. Um, the te Templar. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> old guy. <laughs> I was, I was just like, okay, I can think of like the other, like the ascendancies, but I just can't think of like the original things. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know any of like the starter things. There's like, um, what, what's buff man? Mar Mar Marauder? No. <laughs> Marauder? Okay. Yes. And then, and then Archer Lady is, uh. Dude, I'm just thinking about builds. <laughs> oh yeah, there's witch. There's a raider, ranger, ranger. I almost said raider. I I usually start. Yeah, I mean, I've always started off as a shadow because I always go like s s an assassin or saboteur, I guess. <laughs> Ranger, I don't. Raider, okay, yeah. I mean, like, I keep thinking about the ascendancies. I never think about like the actual, like, what the class is. But yeah, hi, Bun Bun. <clears throat> yeah, they're they're like you're starting classes, and then <laughs> you have ascendancies. I think does each class have three ascendancies? Three different types of ascendancies? I'm trying to think if that's true or is it... Except for Scion. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like... See, I, I'm not I'm not a very informative PO... Like, what... If it comes to POE knowledge, I probably have the POE knowledge of a little toddler. If you want people with actual POE knowledge, you need like, um... You need to go watch like... Any POE streamer but me, <laughs> honestly. Anyone but me, they could probably tell you a lot of good things about the game. Scar is really good. I think Path of Math is really good. Uh, I think Grimbro is really good. I, just like, yeah, anyone but me. They could probably just answer a lot of your questions. But for me, I'm just like, um, yes. Oh yeah, Zizarin has like a whole YouTube video series of like P poe for beginners but i think i saw a video and it was like three hours long and i was like wow there's no way i'm watching that one but you know i know 
how to do the builds that I've been doing already. So that's what I do for the most part. So. <clears throat> this has to make another EDC League Start video. I feel I feel like there's I feel like a couple of my friends are starting off with that and well you know it's really not that bad. Don't I get bored of playing the same thing over and over? Uh well okay in the sense like I don't mind like it's not boring for me because well, okay wait okay Wait, let me explain this way. Leveling in PoE is very boring. Starting off in PoE, you want something probably like for me, I like progressing fast. So I want something that is strong or like, you know, kind of mindless. So, you know, I think what I play is pretty, is a combination of both perfect. So, you know, I can speed through and get to where I want and, you know, start making like currency money is which is what I care about, and then save up that currency to go into a different build that's more enjoyable and stronger, you know? So it's like, every league start kind of feels the same where you're just like playing something, like it's not gonna be your end game build or class or whatever. So like, I do like, I do like money in games. I do like money in games, but I don't like it as much as other people. Like I'm not, like an extreme min maxer grinder type of person i like the progression and like going fast on progression I, like i like feeling like i'm ahead but obviously i'm not the best at it but it's if it's like within my friend group i like feeling like i'm a little ahead <laughs> you know it makes you feel good it makes you feel accomplished maybe that's like a little bit of like the competitiveness in it but yeah, for the most part. <clears throat> I don't think Chaos on Crate got nerfed, but I saw something that they changed with the Explodey Chest. I don't know. I like briefly skimmed the patch notes for PoE. Honestly, the only thing I looked for, I was like, I was looking through the abilities and everything, and I was just like, hmm, is there anything that I see that's familiar that is something that I do? And I was like, no, I don't see anything. So I was like, and then I just kind of read over what they changed about or what they reworked. So I was like, good enough for me. <clears throat> Someone probably asked, but are you playing PoE tomorrow? Yes, I am playing PoE tomorrow. I have to stream PoE tomorrow. And I think I said, set the time for 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. It's, it'll be like later in the evening. Have I considered exsanguine? I, no, I have not. <laughs> Do you know Scar will play? Uh, Scar like messaged me that he was like kind of wavering, but I think he's set on not playing it, but we'll see. I'm not sure if he's gonna, play. if he does play it, I don't know if he'll stream it. I don't know if he'll, we'll, we'll, we'll see. But he sounded, like early on, he said that he didn't want to play, like he was going to take a break from it. I don't know. Thank you for the 22 months. Fun, fun. Thank, thank you. Sorry. I was uh, busy talking about bailing or something like that. <clears throat> yes, TFT right now. Oh, is that is it like a new TFT set come out or something? Is I'm assuming that's what it is, so that's why he doesn't want to play PoE. Because if a new TFT set came out, then that's probably what he wants to um, work on, or you know, like actually grind. It's on PVE now. Ooh, I see. I'm surprised you guys are like <laughs> caught up with with TFT because I I I can't. <laughs> Thank you for the five months, Alex. Thank you. They had a big in-house. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, I mean, there's there's no way I'm... Uh, I'm not touching that game ever again. 
Yeah, it confuses me too. I stopped liking it because they changed the the look of the items and I was like, I can't get behind this and then I just I'm like I don't know what item is what anymore. So then I just I just stopped watching it altogether. TFT is fun. I mean, if you find it fun, that's good. But for me, I just don't think I'll ever play it again. It's just not, it's not my type of game anymore. It was fun while it lasted. It was fun while I had fun with it, you know. <laughs> Thank you for gifting a sub to Spy Anonymous. Gift your thicky Dude, my, I, I feel like my brain has been really smooth recently. I just... The way I speak, I need to go read a book or something. I need to brush up on like, I need, I need more words in my vocabulary. I feel like I've been quite lacking these days. When's the last time I played TFT? Uh, probably on my phone. And I probably, that was during, what set was like, you know, Dark Stars, Zaya Land, Candy Land. I think that was like the last time I ever touched TFT. Actually, no, no, no. I played one game on my computer and then I was like, wow, I'm never playing this game again. Um, I think it was during set four, I'm pretty sure. I played one game of set four and I was just like, wow, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm out. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just tried getting like duelists, a bunch of duelists, <laughs> trying to go for like a three-star Yasuo or something. And it and it just went horrible, and I was just like, "Wow, I'm I'm not touching this game ever again." Then I play a Warwick game. Yeah, I probably tried playing a Warwick game as well, like Divine. I probably tried going like Divine Duelist or something like that. And I was just like, oh, "What am I doing?" Pro perhaps you can start by learning all the sentences classes by heart. You know, I like referring to them as old man, buff man, witch lady, archer lady. <laughs> like, you know, those, those are good enough. I, don't, I think they're pretty descriptive in their own ways. When am I league starting? I'm, I'm doing a blazing salvo mines. I feel like it's dark in my room. Maybe I should turn on my light. I think I should change this. You've been playing POE for eight years and you probably you don't use proper names for most things. That's what I'm saying. Who the heck uses proper names? <laughs> Who is Chayula? I only know Chalupa. That's what we... That's what me and my friends actually call it. Chalupa instead of Chayula. <laughs> That's her name. It's basically the same thing. <laughs> Outfit looks nice. Thank you. You like my outfit theme color? It matches it. Yeah, it's black and white just like my chair. <laughs> what am I going to do? I don't know. I honestly just started my stream because I just, I was like, yeah, I should stream today. Or I wanted to stream, but, you know, I, 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 I can't talk. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. My brain is just, it's just, it's here. It's existing. Words are hard sometimes. My brain, my brain is aching and like, it's hard to find the words to say sometimes. That's how I feel at the moment. Am I gonna do ultimatums in Axe, you think? I think I'm gonna save them until when I get to mapping. I feel like, I mean like, I don't, maybe I'll try, no, nah, nah. I, I'm, I'm going to say that I'm just going to start doing it when I get to maps because, you know, I would rather just go on with my leveling and there's probably nothing really worth it anyway, so I'll do that when I reach mapping because why would I 
yeah, we'll see. But, you know. I, I'll, i you know, if I'm really that curious, I'll probably watch someone do it while I'm leveling. Like, I'll probably have like a PoE streamer on, on my second monitor while I'm playing PoE, and I'm like, hmm. And if they do, if it does seem like it's worth my time, but I just feel like most of the time you just, it's not really worth your time, at least when you're, when you're, um, what do you call it? When you're leveling. You can touch one and get killed by it in the axe. Yeah, I'm trying to like not die as much, you know, every time I level. When I was leveling my summoner, it was so easy to not die, but I feel like if I, anything else, like, I just kind of run and die. Odds of me streaming until 8 a.m., what do you mean? Like, my PoE stream? Streaming from, not, like, 8 p.m. to 8 a.m.? No, I definitely not. I mean, I'll probably play for a good while, but I don't think I would stream for that long. Like, obviously, I might play for that long, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to, uh, what do you call it? I'm not going to be streaming for that long because I'll be on stream, you know, feeling like, you know, looking like a decent human being for a little bit and then I'll get off stream and then just go back into my little gremlin mode. Like how I usually am on the PC and just like be like fully reclined in my chair, just barely clicking my buttons. <laughs> so, yeah. It's just, dude, my posture is so bad. Actually, I should I should pay attention to posture right now. Like, pretty sure whenever I'm streaming, my shoulders are like this most of the time. But I should just low power mode. Yeah, I'm usually like on power saving mode for the most part. I'm just low battery all the time. At the very brink of turning red. That that's how I am. Usually. That's how I am these days in terms of like energy level. Can I stocked up on snacks and drinks for tomorrow? You know, that's actually a good idea. I should probably... Okay. So I'm gonna wake up early, you know. I gotta wake up early for getting in queue for PoE. So I'm probably gonna make myself some food that I can eat for like the next day or two that I could like microwave. I, yeah, that's that's what I'll do actually. So I'll I won't be eating like just chips in the middle of playing PoE. That's what I did last league. I just had a bunch of chips and it just felt like a total slob. I was just like half dying in my chair, like taking two hour naps every now and then, like two hour naps like every every like twelve hours or something, and playing. <laughs> And I was just like, wow, this feels horrible. So, you know, I'll probably change it up a little this time. The, the lime lace chips are like the best thing ever. I was actually talking about this today. And I, those are an addiction. But yeah, that's why I don't get them very often. Because if I like have some in the bag, I just can't. Is the game super worth it? You've got too much of an addictive personality. You're afraid... If you like playing MMOE RPGs and you like grinding and you really like, yeah, it's really ridiculous. Like anyone that I've known that has gone into PoE, they get really addicted to, to, the, to the game. <laughs> Number one PoE advertiser. I mean, like I can vouch for it because I, I was like, I'm never playing this game. I don't like how it is. Like my friends took like years for me to actually try it. Like I tried three separate times and I was just like, nah, I don't want to play this game. They tried to get me through leveling. I was like, no, I got like the first time I played, I got to like level 30. I was like, I don't, I don't want to keep doing this anymore. Quit. Second time around, did the same thing. Quit. Third time third time around I got like to like level 40 and I was like I don't want to do this anymore and then like one day 
during Metamorph Leak, because that, that was like the leak that I started pl actually playing PoE. I was like, you know what? I did some research, and I think what what really helps if you do want to get into PoE is just like looking at builds and seeing what you like, like what kind of playstyle you like. And that'll probably guide you through and, you know, when you see the abilities and the skills and you're like, oh my god, it looks so cool. You have like something to look forward to because like in the past when my friends tried to get me to play and I had like no idea of like what anything was in PoE, I was just like, well, I, I mean, like the skill that, they, I think they made me play as a melee class. I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. they made me play as a marauder, I remember. And they tried to get me to do like some... Leap slam like earth. I, I don't remember what it was because we're they were like thinking about what I played in Diablo 3 and I played like a I played like Crusader and And barbarian in Diablo 3 And they're like well if you like that then maybe you'll like this kind of build in PoE and then I was just like no This is really boring, but then so when I did my own research and finally got like a build that I liked playing and that I thought was cool, I actually just... I spent a lot of time on the game when I first played in Metamorph League. I think I at least played for like two weeks straight and then I stopped playing. So like, it... It stuck with me for like a good while, I think. Because I would say like two weeks of playtime, like every single day, is a pretty decent amount, so... <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> There's a lot of things to grind for in PoE as well, so it's like... If you're about, like, the achievement life, you will have a lot of things to do in the game if you want, you know. <laughs> but, yeah, the only thing about the game is that, um... Hmm, There's a lot to learn. It might look a little daunting at first like when you open up the skill tree you're like okay like where do i start from but you know that's where builds come in handy that's where like path of building comes in handy like people who have made these build guides already have like your whole tree ready so it's it's pretty nice like there's like so many things offered in the poe community so like even if you're a beginner you'll have like a way to like get guided through, I guess. Even though you don't know anything or know much. Thank you for the two months, I get you. Thank you. Thank you for the 13 months right here. Thank you, nice glasses. Thank you, thank you, sir. Yeah, the skill, I was just like, when I first started playing PoE, I was just like, wow, this skill tree is, uh... I don't know if I'll ever understand it, but honestly, after playing a couple years, I like, kind of, like, know where to put things. I'm like, hmm. Okay, I, I can go like this way or that way, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, everyone's really nice in PoE. Like, if you have a question, people will answer. Streamers, PoE streamers, <laughs> like, I feel like they're like the most patient people because every time I tune into the stream, there's a person that just asks them, there's like, 10 different people asking the same question and they'll just answer it the same way. They're just like, oh yeah, this is how you do th this, is how you do that. I'm like, wow. Like, they, they don't even seem phased by it. Actually, it's like that for PoE and for like, wow. Like those games, I remember watching wow streamers and people would just like ask them the same question like over and over again. They're like, what's your UI? How do you get this? How do you get that? And they're like, oh yeah, it's this, it's that. And I'm like, wow, they just, they're just unfazed. Because I feel like most people, like, at some point, they would get a bit bothered by being asked the same question, like, the same question, like, 50 times a day, but they, they don't seem to mind that much, so. <clears throat> you have yet to run into any toxicity into PoE, you know why? Yeah, I feel like... No, no one's mean about anything in PoE. If anything, people are like inviting and they want you to play. There's no like... I've never experienced any elitism in PoE, but then again, I guess I just don't really look at much to begin with. Everyone's pretty nice. 
the only bad thing that you'll ever run into PoE, but that's... I mean, it's the nature of it in like... You know, in money making, there's always gonna be people who try to scam you, you know? So if you're a new PoE player, I have to say, you should just check... Always check how much they're giving you before you sell it to them or press accept because... Sometimes people try to scam you really, really hard. Like, say you're selling an item for like... Uh, <laughs> so you're selling an item for like, I don't know, a couple of egg salts. Some people will try to get away with like putting some random random things in there. Like they'll just quickly like accept, like throw in something and accept, hoping that you're just going to press accept and not check. And they'll get, and then you like open your tab and you're like, oh my God, I got like three chaos or something for like my 10x item or something like that. So I... <laughs> Some of my longtime PO friends that have like played PoE for a long time have gotten scammed because they just they were like so tired and they accepted the trade. They're like, "Wait, dude! I just got scammed! Like, dude, how how could this happen? Like, why didn't you just check? Like, it it's such a, like a pricey item too, you know? So, like, I, yeah. And then you have to like whenever you're buying things, you always have to check like the links or like you know like some people try to scam people of like. The, or sometimes my friends like self-scam about like item levels and stuff, but I mean that's more into like you Gotta do some research on that if you're new I guess, I suppose I've never scam- I would never scam anyone in PoE. There was a person who tried to scam me in PoE once though, but I was just like this is whatever it's <sighs> You got scammed once and the person called the person out and they give you your stuff back. Well, that's you know, at least that's nice of them, you know, they they gave it back because I feel like most scammers would just hit like the ignore list on you and just call it a day if they've successfully got some money out of you. But um, there was a time where it's like, I've never gotten scammed on PeeWee, but I've definitely have someone give me more money than it was that I sold it for. And I'm like, yo, dude, you, you gave me, like, an extra, like, couple of C. And they're like, eh, it's fine. I don't care. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I mean, if you're just that rich, just, just say so, I guess. <laughs> like, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll take those, I guess. Thank you for the sub with Prime Bobo Nub Nubs thing. Thank you. You had a guy try refund scamming and try to give the wrong item back. That's so troll. I've never had that happen to me yet. Some guy played, paid 250 instead of 200 for bulk last week and then he was just like, have it? I'm honestly like... I don't know what, what they're having, but you know, bless them, you know? They're, they're, they're a lot giving. <laughs> You didn't mention it, you just hit accept, so you accepted. <laughs> so you're like, sick, yeah. <laughs> like, I feel bad if someone gives me more money or like... So I just double check if I'm like, you sure? Like, you gave me like this much, you're like... Yeah, it's fine, I'm like... Okay, I guess. <laughs> Thank you for the three months, Crimson. Thank you, Mickey. What build am I doing this week? I'm doing Blazing Salvo Mines. It looks pretty cool, I, I'm excited to... I'm excited to do, I'm excited to, uh, league start with those. Well, I'm not excited for my, for my hands, and sadly, my wrists kind of, like, ached in the morning, but they're, like, a little better now, but I feel like I, I will feel it, you know, with the next few days as well. <laughs> thank you for the 28 months, Pikachu. Thank you, thank you. When's the next league start? It starts tomorrow at 12 p.m., PDT. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I at least that's when I think it starts. Oh, it starts at one p.m. I checked, and it starts at. I, I'm gonna. Uh, I just went to the search. Path of Exile. Dot com. It starts in sixteen hours. Click here to learn more. Oh, there's a trailer. Okay. 
my build. I'm doing uh, Blazing Salva Mines. I think Path of Math is also League starting as Blazing Salva Mines. It looks fun. Like, I just like looking at different abilities. I don't know. I'll see what kind of builds I want to progress into later on, but we'll see. Is this 1 p.m.? Okay. Yeah, I, I think I'll... I think I'll be at maps by by the time I have to stream, so I think it'll be fine. 1 p.m., 12 p.m. Oh, what, what kind of difference does what kind of difference does it make? No, I'm not gonna do count. I mean, honestly, like I I wanted to cast crit last league, and then I was just like, I'm so bored, so I so I don't think I'm gonna do a cast on crit build, so. We'll see. I want to do something different, but I'll see what what ability looks cool to me, I guess. The new blood skills look kind of fun, but I don't know if anyone will make a build around it, so I'll see. Ever play a minion build? Yes, I did. I actually played minions last league. I did carry on golems. It was a pretty pleasant leveling experience, as in like I was just like rolling through the campaign and like, you know, it's nice, but I just think it's, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty boring, you know, like all the, the minions do all your work for you, but I, it's, it's good, but I mean, I'm just, yeah, it's very uninteractive, which, you know, Honestly, I wouldn't mind doing, but I feel like it wouldn't really entice me to play the game or I, I would probably get really bored of it. Like, mines, obviously people don't find them fun either, but you have to do a lot more button clicking. <laughs> and like, you know, instead of just have it just like wandering around, calling your minions somewhere and just seeing your carry on golem just attack things and then, you know. Or like wh whatever you're using on your summoner build. I'm not gonna stream at the very beginning of the league. I'm not gonna stream my leveling process, but when I get to maps, that's that's what I'm gonna stream. I've downloaded the to I've downloaded the torrent already. I have no, I have not actually. You like PoE, but you don't have any idea how to build. Well, that's where other people's guides come in handy, and then you know. Also asking them the question. Honestly, like, if you ever, like, look at a YouTube video or something of a PoE build, and you know that person's, like, IGN in PoE, you could probably just at them and ask them a question or, like, find them, and they'll probably answer you. That's, like, one of my... That's what one of my friends did for their discharge build. And they, like, asked the guy, like, a couple of questions and they would always answer. Like, people on POE are always so nice and always willing to answer your questions no matter, like, you might feel like a noob. They're just like, oh, yeah, and like, they'll do this, they'll do that. It's actually crazy. Teaching stream tomorrow? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, a t I'm nowhere near anywhere, like, a, of, like, a knowledge level to teach someone about the game you could just probably look at my stream and be like "Ooh, fireballs like that's probably all you're gonna take away from me playing poe if you ask me a question on how to do this or that i'll be like dude uh, maybe go ask scissorin or something but i yeah i'm just i'm just gonna be mapping or something You'll just see a bunch of fireballs everywhere and you'll be like, hmm, yes, interesting. Thank you for the three months. I gotta say, thank, thank you. But teach us how to map efficiently. I don't know if I'm very efficient at mapping, but... I wouldn't say I'm the worst, but I wouldn't say I'm the best. Because, you know, there's always, like, um... Strategies on how to, like, get different maps in, like, different areas, regions, but... I just, you know... Do do whatever. I just do everything by feel or like what I remember. <laughs> yeah, Zizarin has really helpful guides on how to do anything in PoE. 
I think Path of Math has that too. Oh, like uh, honestly everyone has probably every poe content creator has something like that or they'll like um what do you call it i, I don't know honestly yeah mapping is confusing i'm pretty sure i don't i had no idea what i was doing for like the first few leagues i was playing poe i was just like i don't know i'm just throwing in random maps but now i'm the one that i'm just like yeah every people are like do you have do you have maps in like this region or that region? I'm like, yeah, I do, and then I can give it to them. They're like, wow, thanks. And I'm like, wow. <laughs> yeah. Do I understand the trail though? No, I have I have to like I have to do some research on it. Mathel's a guy who dresses up every league launch. Did he? I feel like a couple of POE streamers do like some sort of cosplay that they do at League Start. I don't know if they're gonna do it again this league, but I mean, they probably have something up their sleeves. I don't know though. I don't, I don't really, <laughs> I don't really follow POE streamers that much. Like <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> if I had to say, I'm not very loyal to a lot of streamers. Like the streams that I watch are very like flavor of the month stuff for me. Like it depends on like what game I'm enjoying at the time so it's like if I'm playing PoE that month I'm just only watching PoE streams the next month if I'm playing like League of Legends I'll be watching like League content the next month if I like FPS game if I'm playing like Apex Legends I only watch like actually I don't really watch Apex Legends streamers it depends but the only streamers that I am faith like loyal to or faithful to are my friends <laughs> everyone like I like tuning into their streams but if it, uh, I always just change up streamers every now and then Hillock cosplay one. Uh, I don't think I have the correct build to be Hillock. Hillock's kind of like buff and also lacks hair. So I would probably have to get rid of all of this. And I might need like, how does he look? He has like stuff like in him, but I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what, it, what it is. It kind of looks like very large nails. I, I don't I don't think I don't think I could be Hillock if I had to be honest. <laughs> no, I'm not playing Osu. You you cannot get me to play that game, trust me. It's uh I and it's not for me. <laughs> Was my end game goal of POE? Or like end game that's that's what I'm assuming. What do I want to do this league? Honestly, I didn't really look too much into the league specific, like league mechanics, so I'm not sure. <laughs> thank you for that 10 months velocity. Thank you, thank you. I watch a lot of people kill Maven or do the feared. And then I always, I was getting my cast on crit build ready to, to play and I had like crazy items, but then I just never got back on PoE. The League mechanic seems pretty straightforward. Maybe I'll, like whenever I play PoE, I don't really have that many goals. I think my number one goal always is just to complete my Atlas. Like Atlas completion gives me life. Like I love, I love being a completionist when it comes to that. Like. I like being the first one to like be far ahead in my atlas compared to anyone else in my friend group. Like that's what I like doing. And then like afterwards, I don't know, it depends. It, it depends where everything goes, but I don't really do achievement challenges much. Cause I don't stay, I don't, I don't play the game for too long to want to do that. I think my highest level character is like level 94. Cause then like, I watch my friends like go through leveling and you know, do like a bunch of pure breach stones. I'm like, <sighs> like I, I remember when I first started PoE, I was like, I want to get to level 100. And then I saw how like, 
daunting it is to get to level 100. Like, nah, I don't want to do that anymore. Yeah, after like that point, it's just like... You, you just start not caring about what you're going into, what you're dying, and you... 98 is halfway to 100, basically. Uh, yeah, that's what I've learned. I, I was naive when I first started PoE. I was like, you know, level 100 doesn't seem like much when it, it, it is a lot. Yeah, you just have to buy your way into it, but it's so boring. Like, it's not fun, you know? So, yeah. But I... You know, like... I always have, like, early game goals when I start off the league, but... I never have any end game goals. And I think that's why I don't play that far into the league. Yeah, I just like the feeling of being ahead in the beginning and then that's, that's it. So yeah. Thank you for the sub with Prime Team Battle. I think, thank you. Early game goal is speed run level play. Yeah, I like that. That's how I am with most games or like games that, get, that have like releases. I like feeling ahead of everyone else like i'm like mm, makes me feel accomplished and then after that i'm just done that's like me and pokemon you know like whenever a new pokemon game comes out i just sit there and finish the game like yeah i'm done now and then i just get to do whatever i want for a while thank you for the 44 months david thank, thank you i would not want to be the face of poe because i don't know that much about that definitely belongs to a, a lot of other people who play the game. I'm fine with just being a regular player of the game, you know. <laughs> Do you play two characters as League, like a League starter into an Omega build? You don't have time for that anymore. Yeah, that's what I usually try to do, but I feel like... I think my issue is I stay on my league starter for too long, and then once I get to my, like, late game build that I wanted to do, it's just, I've lost all interest in playing the game at all, so. Maybe I'll change it up this time. Thank you for subbing, Curry. Thank you. You found a mirror last week in Ritual. Well, congratulations. <laughs> How am I how am I gonna be the face of PoE when I don't even know all the uh, the 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 starting class names? I'm just gonna refer to it as like bald old man with a beard and blonde blonde archer lady. So <laughs> I I couldn't yeah, I couldn't name all this. Have you ever played Monster Hunter Rise? No, I haven't. I played a little bit of Monster Hunter World, but not Monster Hunter Rise. What's my thoughts on Pokemon Legends Arceus? Have, have I not seen it? I watched trailer when the direct was happening. It looks really unfinished. Like it's probably still a work in process, but they decided to give us a trailer. And I feel like they should have held off on it because it was a cool, it's a cool concept for sure. Like that's a lot of things what, that um, Pokemon players wanted, like more of like an open world game. But I feel like the unpolished uh, trailer or like the game and like showcasing it, it's like, I mean, a lot of people won't take into account that it's unpolished. Like it's still a work in progress. So they'll probably have a lot of negative things to say. Like in the trailer, like the frames are dropping bad, you know? So I, I saw a lot of people commenting on that. So I feel like they should have held off on it until they were like a little, the game was like a little more ready to be shown off. Like Pokemon Snap, it looked really good from, even if it wasn't final footage, but. For the Legends one, it seemed kind of... Yeah, conceptually, it was exciting for a lot of people, but I feel like visibly, it was not. But, I mean, yeah, they probably wanted to show it for their anniversary, which I understand, but... I feel like they should have held back on it for a little bit longer. But, you know... 
You could also say that it's just nice having something to look at, which that's fine too. <laughs> am I getting on Maple Story? No. <laughs> After I played Maple Story that one day, I was like, why am I here? I was like grinding at the Copper Drakes and I was just like, wow, I am so bored. <laughs> I like playing Maple Story with other friends. It makes it like a lot more enjoyable to play, but if I'm playing by myself, I'm like, I grind for a little bit, I'm like, mm. Yeah, there's nothing else to do, so I'm just gonna get off. You don't get why everyone's hating on the Gen 4 remakes? Do you like the look of it? Well, I mean... It's because of how, like, the direction that the Pokemon art is progressing towards. I'm pretty sure that's what they expected, like, Sword and Shield graphics, at least. But then they got, like, these little squished squish squash looking what what are those called funko pop you know chibi like models so they're just like what, what am i looking at and it just looks really <laughs> in terms of that they're just like wow it just seems like they didn't put any effort in like you know because it's like a remake that people have been dying for but you know maybe they just wanted to try some a different approach I mean, isn't it like in collaboration with another company as well? <laughs> yeah, something like that. So I feel like that's also something to take away in, in like terms of how the game style is, but I don't know. It's a studio that did Pokemon Home. Oh, I see. So yeah, I, I mean, I don't really know how much time was put into developing this gen 4 remake i mean i'll have fun playing it i know i will because regardless of what it looks like like it's not bad because like when you can go into battle like that's the graphics i was expecting but i wasn't expecting like the tiny overworld sprite looking models Yeah, I mean, a lot, some people, you know, it's always like a... It's always really extreme when it comes to Pokemon games. Like, there's always that one side that really hates that what, what they did, and there's one side that's, like, pretty accepting. They always like what they put out. They're like, oh, yeah, I really like what they did or what they tried. They're like, yeah, and then there are people who are like, they should have stuck with this or that. Because, like... Sword and Shield got a lot of backlash. Sun and Moon wasn't really pop, like, widely received, I think, because of, like, the approach that they did. And without, like, the Pokemon gyms, and instead they had, like, you know, totem challenges. And people were like, this doesn't feel like Pokemon anymore. Like, that type of deal. So, I don't know. I mean, that's why... That's why it's so hard to like branch off into like different directions because of like people will always be stuck in like that older mindset or mentality that they've grown up with. So <clears throat> yeah. What are my earrings? What do you mean? What are my earrings? They're they're just moons. Thank you so much for the $100 donation um Stephen Stone yeah you are the best champion my favorite champion for sure of uh, all the Pokemon games well I, I mean I love Gen 7 like I I loved all the newer Pokemon games because they're a lot different and I mean I I like I like the designs in them too a lot of people just said, you know, that it doesn't feel like what they used to play, which is fine. I mean, I agree. Thank you for the 10 subs, Pokemon Junior. Thank, thank you. If you guys got a sub from Pokemon Junior, please say thank you to them. Haru! Hi! Come here. Hi, Haru! He's currently looking at my coffee come here Are you? can you say hi to your fans yeah i don't even know when they'll have pokemon sleep 
either. Let's see if you guys can see hard. He just woke up from his nap, I think. You guys can't see it, but he's like, he always likes kneading. He's always kneading the desk or kneading whatever he's stepping on. What breed is he? He's just a domestic short hair, I believe. That's what his adoption paper said. Yeah, my cats are. Haru really likes. Whenever he sits on my desk, he likes following my mouse around. <laughs> What's my go to Starbucks drink? It is a. Uh... Hi, Haru. <laughs> I don't know what I like. I actually, I've really been liking the. The cold brew with vanilla sweet cream. That's what I've been getting recently at Starbucks, actually. Haru, come here. Can you guys see him like butting his head into the mic? It's the cutest thing ever. It's like his. He likes butting his head and everything. Isn't that right, Haru? Oh. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that was really good. <laughs> that was really good. You're so sleepy. Thank you for the 18 months, watermelon. You guys can hear him purr. Yeah, he's uh, he purrs a lot actually. He's so big now. You love him. Thank you. Thank you for loving Haru. He. <laughs> Whenever I'm doing something on the computer, it's like he knows, and then he just sits in front of my desk for the whole time, and then I just can't do anything until he decides to get off, or I just put my arms underneath like his his stomach trying to like reach to my mouse or my keyboard so he's used to everything now you know he's like he'll go up to my brother now he's still he's still like uh i feel like his personality he's he's clingy but he's not like physically clingy I get, like he doesn't like calling up to you but he likes being next to you because whenever i'm on my computer he's always like on my desk or the box next to my desk because he wants to be around me. <laughs> Has he destroyed any furniture? No, but sometimes he gets really hyper and the zoomies and he like, he, f he literally does a backflip off my wall. <laughs> He's like a little acrobat. Aren't you? <laughs> How's he and Kumo interacting? So me and my brother figured it out that him and uh, Kumo. So Haru is more of like a, hmm, he likes having his own space, but Kumo doesn't understand that. Like he doesn't know boundaries. So whenever Haru, you know, says like back off, like I don't, I don't want to, I don't want you being near me right now. Kumo like doesn't understand, and like when Haru runs away kumo thinks like he's playing tag like he thinks he's playing with him so he'll like try to play with him more and then he just ends up upsetting haru more so i don't really know how to get him to understand that you know because for the most part when they're together you know they're just like chilling by each other but when they're like more in a when hard uh not hard when kumo's more in like a playful mood it seems it always ends up being bad or it doesn't yeah, end up being too good, so I'm not very sure how to do that. Bye, Haru! <laughs> but yeah, I... That's what I've been trying to figure out these days, because, you know, I would like them to get along, you know? That would be great, and then I could just leave my door open the whole time, but I have to, like, break them up sometimes, because it gets a little too noisy, and it gets a little out of control. <laughs> Thank you for the sub with the Prime Daru. Thank you, or Daru. Hi. You want to come back here again? My gosh, your claws are long. I need to, I need to trim his nails. If anything. Hi, Ark. 
take them to a couple's counselor. Uh, you know, I wish it were that easy, but I was doing some research and it, maybe it'll just fix itself over time. What do I think is the best gen for starter? I don't know. I like... I like Turtwig. I think Turtwig's cute. I'm like trying to read my chat, but he's in, but he's in my way. Do either of them like catnip? Uh, I've never given catnip to Haru, but I've given it to Kumo. And Kumo seems... He seems like he's having a good time when he gets catnip. Me for the eight months best jet. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> you following me? Haru will read for me, I, I guess. Can you read for me? Yeah, I know. He just he just wants me to pay attention to him and I'm I'm petting him, but you know. Thank you for the 23 months, Sunny. Thank you, thank you. What's Haru League starting as? Haru seems like the type to League start as a... Hmm, what would you what would you start off? Something, something simple. Something lazy. You'd probably play like... A minion build. Yeah, he, he would be like a min He gives me minion build vibes. Golem Mancer. What breed is he? He's a he's just a domestic short haired cat. But he just really likes being on your desk. Haru would definitely pick Turtwig too. That's what that's what I think. I think both of my cats would pick Turtwig. The color's nice. He's just like a, yeah, he's just Gray. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you're not picking Turtwig, you don't play the game, right? That's what I'm saying. He tail up the camera. I know. He just. This is. Is he a lap cat or a desktop cat? He's a desktop cat for sure. He doesn't like. He doesn't like being in your lap. Never knew you pronounced it Turtwig, not Turtwig. I honestly, it's probably Turtwig, but like my brain separates turtle and wig. So I prefer <laughs> Turtwig, but it's probably Turtwig. You're probably right about that. Thank you for the three months luster perch. Thank you, thank you. Can we see Kumo? Kumo is outside right now. I could probably bring him in, but I would probably, you know, have him get back out of my room because I don't want them to get too carried away. What games am I playing right now? Right now I just play a little bit of Valorant and that's about it. I play like two games a day and then I'm like, I'm tired and then I stop playing. But starting tomorrow, I'm going to be playing PoE. So, you know, I'm excited for that. So, you know, I'll actually be playing a game on stream instead of just... Well, I mean, I was playing Story of Seasons, but something a little bit... A PC game, that's what I mean to say. Not 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 a console game, but a PC game. What's PoE? PoE is Path of Exile. What's my starter for tomorrow? It's Blazing Salva Mines. I gotta start leveling leveling practice soon if you want to get so far tonight. Yeah. I mean, I was just thinking about it, but I'm probably not gonna do it. You know, like who needs practice? <laughs> I want to play League of Legends. I do play League, but I haven't played in a really long time. And a, l a long time, I mean like two, two months-ish. I'm not that. There's nothing that's really bringing me to the game right now. Other things are more enjoyable for me. You just played Valorant and you got Flash for like 20 seconds. <laughs> the funniest thing <laughs> that happened to me in a... Oh, well, not me, but happened to my friend in a Valorant game. He was just like the last one live and he was like it's a breach and the breach literally like triple flashes him and like His whole screen was just white for like, you know a good couple of seconds and After that moment he went completely like mute after that game like, like after that happened to him in game He just never talked again. <laughs> like I was just like what? 
<laughs> he literally flashed my friend out of the game. He just, he just didn't talk anymore because he's like, <laughs> whatever just happened to him. Just, he couldn't say anything after that, and I was like, you know what? I I would probably feel the same way. Two months is a pretty long time, I agree. I mean, I played like ARAMs, you know, like not too long ago, but like actual Summoner's Rift, I haven't played Summoner's Rift in like so long. And it makes me wonder, like, cause I used to play a lot of flex queue and there'd be like a lot of, there, there were like a lot of boosters, like foreign boosters that would play flex queue and they would like, you know, we would run into them every time. And I'm just like wondering if they're thinking like where we're at. Sometimes they'll like add some of us recently and they'll, they're will they probably wondering like, why did they stop playing? Where did they go? <laughs> Cause we're all so familiar with each other, but then uh, yeah, stop playing League. We all stop playing. Should you play Toxic Rain or Flicker Strike? One of my friends, Terry, really likes playing Flicker Strike and my eyes just cannot follow his character. Like I don't even, I would get motion sickness playing the build, but I mean, if you think the skill looks cool and it's fun, I I would probably say Toxic Rain. I I don't know how you guys like playing Flicker Strike. It just it's too wild, for me at least. It's just. I mean, if that's what you like, I mean, all all the power to ya. Any single player games I've always wanted to try but haven't. No. <laughs> if I really wanted to try the game, I would have played it already. Let me tell you that. So if it's like something that I'm like, oh, it looks fun. I mean, it probably does look fun, but there's no like pull for me to actually play the game. I have motion sickness from everything. Okay, yeah. I mean, it, it's not a choice. Like I just have motion sickness and that's what it is. I wish... I wish I didn't have it so I could have experienced more games, playing more games, but I, I just, I, I could, could not. You need to dodge if you don't know where you are. That, that is true. Thank you for the 22 months for 20 dollar me. Thank you, thank you. Um, have you ever played Skyrim? Nope. I've seen like videos of Skyrim, but I've never played it myself. I mean, I just, I can't. Thank you for the six months since you think thank you. Just stop yeah, just stop having motion sickness. Just how can it be real? Just pretend just stop. That that's what I'm saying. Have I ever played ERBS? No. I've watched Scar play it a little bit though, and I'm just like, I don't know what's going on in this game. I'm going to link start as placing cell phone mines. Thank you for the sub lax luster. Thank thank you. I get motion sickness when people drive too, so I I am a good indicator of if you are a good driver or not. If you're bad at driving, you will give me motion sickness. So, yeah. Especially if if I'm sitting in the back seat, I that like if I'm in the passenger seat, it's not too bad. But if I'm in the back seat and your driving is really like shaky, I, I, I will feel like throwing up in the back seat. <clears throat> what about roller, roller coasters aren't bad unless if they're the spinning ones. If they're just like, you know, regular roller coasters, you know, like a loop or whatever, it's fine. But the ones that spin around, I can't do that. I will, I will probably hurl. Yeah, I can't read in the car either because it, it, it makes me feel motion sick as well. Can I do lightning traps? Saboteur, it looks like a solid build. Sounds like fun. So no teacups at- no, yeah, there's no way I'm doing that. I think- I think I went on them once and I immediately regretted going on. I went on there, you know, for like the- For like the factor of being at Disneyland. No. <laughs> Hi, Haru. I actually read it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was with like friends or something. And I was like, all right, I'll give it a try. 
I, I regret doing that. So no drifting around. I think that's fine, but just continuously spinning gets me motion sick. You're stealing cars. That's what I'm saying. I'm so sorry. Do you want to give your fans something to talk about? Something you want to say something to your fans heart? Oh, no paw on the keyboard, please. Oh boy. There you go. I need to like move my keyboard back or something. It really likes laying on my desk. And the last time I picked Shaco and Champion Select, oh my god. Ah! I don't know. Um, it's been quite some time since I've last played that champion. If it wasn't an ARAM and it wasn't by choice. Hi, Haru. How old is he? He's t t 10. 10 months old. He's getting close to a year old. Maybe he's 11 months old now. Is Haru so hungry or something? No. Uh, he likes giving love bites. So, you know, when he's very content and happy, he likes he likes biting you. Not like extremely hard or anything, but it's like his way of showing affection. Hi, Haru. What was my fastest mile time? I think when I try actually tried once in the mile, I got like seven minutes, but <laughs> most of my mile times are just like me half walking it all the time because I'm really lazy. Where are there? Seven minutes is actually really good. I'm pretty sure my mile time now would be like five hours. <laughs> There's no way I'm running a mile in seven minutes anymore. That was me when I was young. When I would like, you know, take more than 40 steps a day. Yeah. But now, it yeah, how times have changed, really. There's no way I'm... <laughs> that was me back in my prime. Now I, I'm way past. I'm like a pile of dust now. I'm a fossil. I probably... I move at a snail's pace. <clears throat> Back in my day, that's what I'm seeing. Hi, Maru. I delved, yeah. Delving is dead. You can't. My friend was so excited to be a delver this league, and then you know how they like took out um those fractured fossils and not fractured fossils, the freaking uh, those really expensive fossils. It, so, no delving for him. Hi, Haru. <laughs> Looking cute. My go-to league starter, it's always got to be mine for a league starter. Because then I don't have to worry about anything. Ellie reflect, Fizz reflect, nothing. I don't have to worry about any of those because I'm playing mines. It doesn't do anything to me. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm excited to play this league for a little bit. It's been a while since I've, like, had the feeling of really... You're so cute. Being super into a game. I wish I could show you guys how hard it is right now. He's, he's just full splayed out on my desk. Laying down, looking all sleepy. Do I have a favorite playlist for when I hang out in my room by myself? No. Honestly, I haven't been listening to music these days, but... Today, I felt like listening to a rainy playlist because rainy, raining sounds relax me, and I felt like, you know, relaxing today. You might be so down bad this week that you go heisting. Honestly, I feel like if you get, like, the replica for rolls fur or anything like that, you'll probably make bank, but, you know, I never really like the heisting mechanic and I never did it so I don't think I'll go down that road either. Oh my god. 
What? What is this? Hard just clicked something with his tail. Ay ay ay. You figure so many people hate it. Yeah, I'm very sure heisting is profitable because no one wants to do it. But if you do get something from heisting, then you know it'll probably sell for a lot. Rain puts you to sleep, so does so does it for me. And what is going on with my mouse? Ah, uh, it's because Haru's sitting on my my keyboard. <clears throat> Yeah, I just thought it was so like all the quality of life changes that POV made. I'm like, wow. GGG listens. That's what I'm saying. I have nothing but good words to say about GGG. Well, maybe people are unhappy with like harvest nerfs and stuff. You know the nerfs that they did, but they do, they do listen a lot to their player base. So that's pretty nice. And I will always, I will always vouch for like their um their staff because like all the small things that you have troubles they like email you back in within minutes and i'm like wow you know like when i submit a ticket to like other game companies it takes them like days to reply to me and then i'm like well at this point you know i'm, I'm over it or you know maybe i figured out a way <laughs> but Gigi's like oh yeah we got you i'm like oh Thank you, you guys are so nice. They're always, they're always so nice about it too. But yeah. I'm just saying, PoE is a good game. I may be sponsored by PoE, but it's just a game that I've liked, you know, for, for a while now, so. Their customer service replied to you within the hour when you had trouble with content. That's what I, like, they're so fast about replying to you. I'm just, wow. This is what I look like. If all games were like this, or like all game, I mean, obviously, maybe not people have, like, they don't have enough people to do that, or, you know, staff, etc. But it's just so nice. It was on Leaks, right? Yeah, it was legitimately, like, within, like, the first two hours of Leak Start, and they replied to me within, like, five minutes, and I was like, oh my, like, I'm pretty sure they're getting bombarded with emails probably or something like that but they still have the time to just check everything so it's kind of crazy to me <laughs> mail the blizzard is like <laughs> yeah i remember i remember emailing blizzard something about wow and uh it took a it took a while to get a reply <clears throat> am i poe gaming tomorrow yes i am i am Blizzard literally has a 20 hour ticket queue time, and if you're offline, it's GG, honestly. I forgot what I even emailed them about for a while, but I just remember it taking quite some time. Am I gonna blood aqueducts farm? Depends if I get lucky. I remember doing my ritual, and then I got a. No, I just got a tabula rasa drop early on when I was playing, so it made it a lot easier for me last week, but I... We'll see how strong the build feels, I guess, but, it, you know, if I do need it, then I guess I will, but we'll see. I just hope... I just hope RNG blesses me within my league start, so things will be, like, a little easier. Always corrupt tabulas for science. Science, I mean, you know, yeah, wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't hurt. It's fun. It's very, it's very rare that I like. Sometimes we just always vowel ta tabulas for fun to see what happens. Usually, like, never like bricks. Usually, it just, just does nothing for the most part. Your friend got a tabula in Act 3 Ritual Shop, you all the dollars jealousy. Yeah, I think who is who who got like the lucky thing? I don't know. I feel like a lot of my friends are just really lucky and then they're like, wow. I wish I got that. Did I end up double crafting my head on it? No, I didn't. Actually, 
Did I? I ended up double corrupting my shavs, I think, and then it bricked. I remember that. I I think like after I was like getting off of my mining character, like my leak starter, I just I just you just kind of like corrupt everything for fun to see what happens, you know? I double corrupted my shavs and it did nothing, so or I just bricked, and I was like, wow, this is some good stuff. Every time my friends and I like Val something, we just throw in the guild stash and everyone can just look at our failures. It's a, it's a pretty good time every time you open up the guild stash, but kind of clogs it up as well. At least it didn't poof. I mean, yeah. At least it's not that. But I mean, yeah, you always have something to look back on and laugh and just think like, why, why did I even do that? So you've been watching Haikyuu and it's so good. You never thought you'd watch a sports anime. It has been top five so far. Honestly, sports animes, like shonen anime, they're so inspiring. It just makes you want to do things, you know? It makes you feel like everything's achievable. Even if they're doing unrealistic things in the anime, like jumping five trillion feet in the air, that type of deal whenever they're like in sports anime or they have like insane powers. But like their will to keep going despite their failures and challenges you're like wow i should be doing that too so ha haikyuu is good i know a lot of people i mean haikyuu is so popular everyone loves haikyuu so much it's good it, it's popular for a reason that's what i'll say for sure <clears throat> I've never watched Toradora. I feel like Toradora is like that one anime that a lot of guys watch. I've never heard any girls really talk about Toradora. I feel like I've always heard my guy friends talk about Toradora. Now that I think about it, at least. A lot of my girlfriends watch like Kaicho or Maid Sama or, you know, like, I don't know, Alhara Ride etc i don't know i feel like a lot of guys watch torador i don't know what it is but i just feel like i've only heard males mention toradora do i watch one piece i love one piece obviously i'm not caught up on it now or currently i binge watched it when i was in high school i had a lot of fun while i lit literally like uh during the spring break in one of my high school years i don't remember if it was junior year or something junior year, sophomore year it was like on episode 400 something it was a little bit after the time skip that's where it was and i literally laid on my floor <laughs> eating pretzel sticks and watched all like 400 and something episodes of one piece during my uh spring break in high school i was like super hooked it was uh really good and then i also read it as well um but you know ever since then i haven't really like caught up to it i suppose do i like sanji or zoro, zoro more i like i like zoro more he's yeah, I, I definitely like him more if I had to pick one. Have I have I ever seen Kogius? Yes, I have. Have I watched Baka Monogatari or watched? I think I've watched two of them, but I only remember the first one. Kinda? Not really. I don't know. It wasn't. I'm not gonna lie. It wasn't that impressionable to me. I didn't really find it. I, I don't know. I didn't really find it interesting. I know a lot of people like the series, but for me, I was kind of like, eh. Uh, I don't really get why people like it so much, but, you know, each their own. But then again, like, thinking about my preferences and what I like to watch, I just really like... I really like shonen. <laughs> that, that's, that's what I've come to the conclusion of. I just really like shonen or sports. I like a lot of action and i like the power of friendship i like i like strong bonds and i like action that's what i like in anime so yeah i 
You take it, then I like One Punch I do like One Punch Man. I read it originally, or well, yeah. Not the original series by one, but the redrawn one. And I was like, wow, this, this series is pretty fun. Even though, you know, it's kind of wacky. You know, it's like, you know, literally One Punch, but I found it interesting. What about Gintama? I watched Gintama a lot when I was in high school. Because it was really popular on the anime website that I used to browse and watch random animes off of. Honestly, like... All I did in high school was come back home and pick a new anime to watch, basically. So I watched a lot of old, older animes back in like 2010-ish. And like, tw like 2010 through 2013, that's when I think I watched the most anime. And then I kind of like fell off. Thank you for the sub with Prime Reblink. Thank, thank you. I love Mob Psycho. I freaking love Mob Psycho. I always recommend it to people too. I think Mob Psycho is pretty easy to watch and Mob's such a cute character and I just, you know, I like a lot of characters in Mob Psycho. But then I, but then again, I just think about it and then, you know, I like uh, every, any anime I watch, I almost like every single character too. Have I started watching the- I haven't- I only watched the first season of My Hero Academia and then I stopped. I really liked the first season, but then I never bothered to continue it. I just feel like whenever I start a series, I just have to- It has to be like on its very end, at least for me to start it. Or else I'll never ever go back to it. Or like it has to be a couple seasons in. It depends, like- Cause this is what happens, right? Like, I mean, I got into Jiu Jujutsu Kaisen recently. Like I started watching the anime and I think it was on like episode, like, I think it was like episode 13 or 14 when I started watching it. And then I read ahead in the manga and then I just have never ever touched it again i've never went back to the anime and i don't know if i will maybe i will at some point but i keep up to date on the manga but I just since i already like you know I, I just feel like reading it instead of watching it <laughs> yeah i think the animation's really really nice but it's just like so hard and you know like how Demon Slayer, you know, has a movie and all and I'm pretty sure they're gonna have a new season soon or whatever. But I mean, I already finished the manga too, so it's like, I don't know if I'll watch it again. Yeah, I mean, people could say to just, you know, watch it for the animation and, you know, all that, but I don't know. I already read ahead. I already, yeah, it's like the same thing to me. Thank you for the six months, Vichang. Thank, thank you. I just, yeah, once, once I start something and if it doesn't have a lot of episodes, I'm, and if I get into it, then I'm just going to read ahead and then I'll never come back to it ever again. I'll just stick with the, I'll stick with reading it and then I'll just stop after it's finished basically. Am I ready for PoE? Yeah, I am. I'm pretty ready like i'm ready to just indulge in the game and you know have a good time it'll be nice i think so i don't watch shows that are running i really like binge watching things i don't like i don't like waiting i'm a very impatient person uh so i just I would prefer the season to be over and then me watching it. Unless if I'm feeling extremely dedicated that I would keep up every single week. That's really rare for me to do. Um, like, not even- I haven't done it with Jujutsu Kaisen. I guess it depends if I've read ahead as well. So, it's helpful if the series is like a- it doesn't have something to read. And that is just like an original series, so I'll like keep up to date on on the anime, and like you know I'll keep going. But yeah, I don't know. You started reading Chainsaw Man. You enjoy so far? 
I honestly thought Chainsaw Man was a pretty interesting read. It is kind of wild. I'm pretty sure you can, you know, take that away from the name and like, you know, everything. But it's a pretty fun read, I think. A lot of twists, interesting things. I've watched Psychopaths. I watched Psychopaths. Psychopaths came out in like 2013? Uh, around that time. It was around the time where I was still watching a lot of anime here and there. Psychopaths is pretty good. I, I, will, I will say that. Steins Gate? Uh, I, I already answered this. Uh, I mean, I, I feel like I tell the same story, but Psychopaths for me, I'm just... Or not Psychopaths, sorry. Steins Gate, I'm Psychopaths good, but I just, I just... I don't know why I said Psychopaths, probably because I was just talking about it. But Steins Gate was just... A lot of... Like, it must be like a really, you know, popular anime for a reason. But I swear to you, every time I've attempted to watch the anime and I just you know I, like the first episode five minutes in I'm just like I I can't I can't watch this anymore and I just exit out of it because I'm just too bored like I I'm you know I need action I need something to like draw me like something has to draw me a little in I suppose like whether it be like someone's backstory or like something happening with the character. When I'm when I'm thinking like that that's how like shonen anime draws me in, I feel like, because there's always something to do with the main character and like something about their past a little bit and then they're like then you slowly start learning more and more about them. And that's what keeps you going and then, you know, the friends they make along the way and you're like, ah yes, but I don't know. Or a mysterious dark haired guy. Yeah, yeah. Or it has to be a very attractive, like, sports anime character in the beginning. And I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, this is my jam. Let's see what this guy's about. Keep me watching. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I, I haven't been like. I haven't been like that in a very long time. Shen is the same old stuff for you, it bores you. I mean, I guess it depends on like what you're, what you're reading slash watching. But the shonens I've been reading, at least, they're pretty different in terms of like what is going on. So I mean, I'm I'm pretty satisfied with whatever I'm reading slash watching. Do I have a deviant septum? Yes, that's actually what I have, and I'm pretty sure that's what's making my nose sniffly you know gojo gets all the ladies i mean yeah gojo is a very pretty person but if i had to pick someone in jujutsu, jujutsu kaisen it'd be nanami nanami's like nanami's my type <laughs> even though everyone loves gojo you know he's fun he's a very attractive male but nanami is is, is just my type thank you for the sub with the prime tayo thank thank you Watch Signs Gate to fall asleep too? No, it's okay. I can I can find better ways to fall asleep. But I mean it's not like I'm not dissing the anime or anything. It's just that it's not my cup of tea or like something I just can't get into. And everyone has those things where they just no matter how much they've like tried to watch it or get into it, just not not their thing, you know. I'm very sure if I was younger Actually, I don't know. I feel like my types in anime still have stayed relatively the same as I was growing up. <laughs> Actually, yeah, maybe, maybe they're a little different. Because I'm thinking, because What on High School Host Club was one of my favorite animes while I was growing up. I think that anime came out when I was like in fifth or sixth grade. My favorite character was one of the twins, Hikaru. I really liked him. But I feel like as I've grown up, I kind of. I mean, I always liked Kyoya, but I feel like 
now if I had to pick, I, I would I would pick Kyoya probably. So it's like may, maybe my type has changed a little bit. It's more like the uh I I don't I don't even know what to what to call my type. But yeah, I mean it it just fits my my type in like anime anime characters. Did I make anime list? I made one a while ago, I think. Like two years ago or something. And then I, I haven't updated since I remember I made it on stream at some point. Yeah, it was just like a wild ride trying to even remember the animes I've watched in the past. Honestly, it's my memory's not that great. <laughs> the cool, silent, or slightly edgy guy. Yeah, that's definitely more of my. But except, I like them more like mature. Like they have they they're more of a mature person. I feel like that's my type in anime. I was never about the, you know, like I was never a Sasuke girl in Naruto. I was more of a Kakashi girl. Like that's, that's the difference. <laughs> but except, you know, one one thing is like, um, who is it? Uh, in Shokugeki, I really liked Akira, the the spice guy. The one with the white hair. I really liked him, but he's he's more of like a fiery type of person, I feel like. Yeah, Hayama. Yeah, I really liked him. I mean I didn't really get that far in Shokugeki. I got I think I got to like chapter ninety in Shokugeki when I was reading. And then I stopped. <clears throat> Silver hair again. I, <laughs> I mean, not all my favorite characters just have like the same, like ninety five percent of them have like the same demeanor. Like they're very like cool or like mature, you know, like that kind of thing. <clears throat> you like the seventh seat. Is he like the really troll one? I, I think I know who you're talking about. It's it's been a really long I I don't recognize any of the names, but I just probably remember what you know, like Hitsugaya? Okay. When I watched Bleach, I thought Hitsugaya was really cool when I was younger, but then like the more I would watch him because you know how he's like one of the more like the the younger captains? I was kinda like every time he would like Fight, he would just lose and I was like well you know that's kind of lame <laughs> like that's how I felt so I was like mm, I don't know I don't know if he's my favorite character but I was like he looks cool but I don't know if he's my favorite character <laughs> if I had to pick a favorite character from Bleach or if I had to think about who my favorite character back I think I really like the Bleach ladies not the men I mean all the Bleach characters are like really attractive looking but I really liked Soifon and Yoruichi. I really liked those two. I was like, wow. They're hot. <laughs> that, that, was, that was like, whenever I watched Bleach, I was like, wow. They're really, they're really attractive. Like that, that's like the only thing that would go through my mind while I was uh, watching Bleach. I mean, they're very cool too. Like I, I really liked how they fought, but then I was like, hmm, very nice. You know, like, but yeah, you already know. My favorite male character from Bleach? I don't know. Something like Byakuya was cool, but something about him I just didn't like that much. I think. I'm trying to think of like who I actually really like. I don't know if I honestly had like a favorite. Very nice. Yeah, yeah very nice. I liked Urahara. A lot, actually. I thought he was cool. <clears throat> Should you start Bleach? Okay, I don't know if Bleach is like worth watching. I 
I stopped watching Bleach somewhere around the Arankar arc. I'm pretty sure. Because I remember seeing, like, you know, all the, uh... What, what were they even called? Or is that what they're called? I, I don't know. Like, I, my memory with Bleach is so vague right now. But... I just... Like... There is something about the anime that just really turned me off about watching it and I feel like at some point I tried to return to it or maybe I was reading it but it's like Ichigo lost his powers and he gained them back and then he lost them again and then he gained it back and it's like I'm like dude like how many times can this happen like I don't I don't like you know and so mm -mm. <laughs> but I know what happens in the end but I just it just really fell off for me at some point. The fillers, okay, like every every series is going to have a bunch of fillers. Like Naruto has a ton of fillers too. Uh, that's probably you know, honestly, when I was younger, I didn't mind filler episodes, but I feel like you know, now I would probably mind them a bit. Naruto has like an insane amount of fillers. I mean, I feel like every shonen anime just has, you know, like a bunch of filler arcs because it's just how it is. <laughs> yeah, Kakaji's Mask is like the only filler episode that I'll uh, like and remember. It's episode 101 of Naruto. I, I just remember it to T because I rewatched it probably like a ton of times, so. <laughs> yeah, it's the only acceptable filler episode. Thank you for the three months, Red Deck, and thank you for the sub modulative. Thank, thank you. I mean, but sometimes they just need filler episodes because, you know, it's like there's not enough going on or they have to like stall. <laughs> so, it happens to do with pay pacing and stuff as well. Thank you for the sub with Prime Staple. Thank you, thank you. You have a very, um... Painful sounding name, shall I say. <clears throat> Hi, Cozy. Yeah, it's, it's fillers just exist because, you know, the anime is kind of caught up to the manga. Or, like, you know, they need time to, like... All time basically. Go through unbanned requests on stream. No. I just know that if you've been banned, then there's just a good reason you've been banned. So I'm not I'm not looking at those. It would probably like if you got banned, like you you probably not probably, you deserved it. I know you did, so there's... Unless if you had some... Yeah, I don't know. It's just whatever. Because, <laughs> like, if you just say, like, a, you know, a small thing, it's fine. But if you probably said something really bad in order to get banned. And it's like, even if you did change, it's like... Why even type that in someone's chat in the first place anyways? So, I mean, whatever. <laughs> Did I ever decide what I'm gonna do for the... No, I think people can suggest something. I'm not even sure, honestly, so... Yeah. <laughs> What's my favorite type of curry? I don't know, honestly. I mean, I like all types of curry for the most part. Thank you for the sub with Prime TK, Bowie. Thank, thank you. Very lenient because you haven't been here. I mean, I think it's a pretty lenient place in general. You know, just don't be a weirdo and that's it. Like, if you're being a weirdo, you're probably going to get timed out or banned depending on the level of weirdness you're giving. 
Do you watch any Hollow Live YouTubers? I think I know of some, but I've never really watched any of them. But I, I know a lot of people enjoy them. It's, it's cool. Do I like Chinese food? Chinese food's good. I like all types of food. I'm not a picky eater. My parents raised me to finish any everything in the bowl. Whether I like it or not, I gotta finish it to be respectful. So they're like, if you ever go to someone's house and they offer you food, you better finish all of that or else you'll make us look bad. And I was like, well, okay. <laughs> I gotta do it for my parents' image. I gotta be as polite as possible, so. This lip product is the Moonshot. Oh god, I don't even know if I can read this. It's, I, I don't know, the number says 502. <clears throat> even if it looks like a chug jug from Fortnite. If it looks like a chug jug from Fortnite, of course I'll drink it. But yeah, I mean, my parents said never waste food. You should always finish food. The only downfall is like, when I would, you know, finish my food at my friend's place, they'd be like, oh my goodness, like, their parents would ask me, oh, do you want more? And I'm just like, I'm literally full to the brim, like, I can't move, I'm like, uh, and then it's like, I'll feel bad for saying no, so it's like, sure? And then just like, I'm, yeah, <laughs> and then I just eat more, I'm like, oh my god, like, I get it's not like I can't, you know. So I gotta be like, then you just say like, oh yeah, yeah, I'll just have a little more, that kind of thing. So. <clears throat> you still use a cup of coffee and oatmeal face mask from Lush because of me? I haven't, I haven't used those in so long, but I love the smell of the cup, cup of coffee one. You know, I, I really want to repurchase it. I used it like for a couple, like I rebought it a couple times, but it's been a while since I've used it. I guess I don't really use face masks that often anymore too. I've gotten extremely lazy with my skincare. Like I just wash my face, put on some moisturizer and call it a day. So maybe I should be a little bit more, uh, maybe I should put a little bit more into my routine. Thanks, Alisana. Thank, thank you. No, I just, I think I just wanted to chat today because tomorrow I'll be streaming POV, but I just wanted to stream like, you know, the day before. So just saying hi to everyone because I haven't streamed in a while, you know, and then tomorrow and the next day. One of my friends is saying that I should just start my daily streams or like, sorry, not daily, my weekly stream, like on this stream. So, you know, it's like, I had a head start, you know, type of deal. But honestly, I might just start my, cause the weekly stream goal. Uh, the, 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 the donation goal that we got for the charity stream. Yeah, maybe I'll just do it this week. Cause it's like, it's POE time. I could probably stream every single day. So that, that's that. Yeah, that's the plan. I got my glasses from Glasses USA. I don't remember the model of this of the glasses shoot. Yeah, I, I don't know what these glasses are called. I just remember browsing this and I was like, oh, this looks kind of cute. So yeah. When am I going to be doing the doodles for my charity stream? Probably after this week, after this week. Gotta get my POV the like POE addiction out of the way and then I'll be able to do something. Yeah, glasses USA. How many do I have to do? I have a list. I haven't counted how many I have to do, but there, there there's a list for sure. Yeah, I don't think you need much mod. I mean, if I'm playing PoE, I don't feel like there there needs to be any modding anyway. 
someone's being weird, I'll just be like, what is your problem? Honestly, I'll be probably too busy looking at my POV screen to see what you're saying. <laughs> thank you for subbing at me, Prime. Thank, thank you. My hand is going to be shot from POE and drawing. Yeah, probably, but... I just have to get, take good care of my hands and my wrists, you know. Gotta use them for another, you know, couple of decades, at least. So, have to remember to keep them in good shape and to stretch, you know, I just, you know, do this. So I was doing earlier today when I woke up. Preferably not reminding myself to do it once I feel the pain, but you know, like every now and then. Only a couple of decades? Yeah, I mean, I mean, obviously you'd want to use your hands for the rest of your life, but you know, like if I start getting wrist pain, I would prefer to get my wrist pain much later into my life than earlier is what I mean. Did they cramp up a lot? No, but I'm just saying. What's my skincare routine? I literally just throw on like, I use a very gentle cleanser and then I put on some moisturizer in the morning. And then at nighttime, I wash my face with either like an oil cleanser. If I have makeup on, I will use an, I'll, I'll use an oil and foam cleanser to double cleanse. You know, to make sure everything's off. And then I just use more of a heavy nighttime moisturizer. That's my skincare routine. <laughs> so like, you know, some people have asked you to do like a skincare routine YouTube video. And then I'm just like, well, um, I don't really, it would be like a one minute video or less, honestly. So how long does my skincare routine take? I don't know, like five minutes or less honestly it doesn't take very long like very 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 short <clears throat> actually i have this one product to recommend that at one point like a week and a half ago i'd say like i had really dry irritated patches on my skin almost like a rash or like an allergic reaction and i had this like baby cream that i bought off like the baby section when i walked into target and it actually worked really well i mean the one thing is like you know you should never like itch at your face but if you guys ever struggle with like eczema or you know like itchy dry skin on your face like, i have the perfect product for you because it worked really well on my skin. Thank you for subbing with Prime, Jensen. Thank, thank you. And thank you for the sub with Prime, Uncle Jazz. Thank, thank you. Yeah, moisturizer is super well. Which product? It was, uh... Dude, I don't remember what it was. It, I think... What is that one company? I think it was Avino. It was some like, it's legitimately in like the tiniest tub because it's a, it's a baby product, but a little goes a long way. It was like some oatmeal cream moisturizer thing. I'll have to get, I'll, I'll have to get the bottle. I think I took a picture of the bottle somewhere. Let me go see. Gotta scroll back up. If I can even find it somewhere. Oh, it was an Avino Baby Eczema Therapy Nighttime Balm. Yeah, it, it was like the best product for my skin when I was when I was younger. It sounds like a fancy breakfast. Okay, I was just trying to remember what it was called. It was like this oatmeal thing. Hashtag sponsored. No, I I wish I were sponsored by skincare, but that that'd be cool. But you know, I 
Then again, I don't I don't use that many, so that maybe that would, that wouldn't be a good thing. Do you guys know any good face cleansers? I what do I use? Actually, the oil cleanser I use is kind of pricey. It's the Shu Uemura um, oil cleanser. It smells so like every time I wash my face, I it. I look forward to washing my face because it smells so good and it feels nice and it, and it feels nice for my skin as well, but I also for skin, for a foam cleanser right now, I'm using some I don't know if it's by industry or if it's a different brand, but it's some blueberry foam cleanser with like a 5 point pH of 5.5 .5. but I think a lot of like drugstore ones I've heard Aveeno is like pretty decent I think but I don't know there's probably a lot of YouTube I'm, I'm not the best to ask about skincare in general like I don't have that much knowledge I have definitely watched some YouTube videos every here and there but yeah thank you for the 10 months thank you thank you I hope you're having a wonderful evening. I've heard good things about Cosrx. How often do I shop for clothes? Not very often. Honestly, like, I just, I wear like the same couple clothes every single day or like I just rotate off like the same four shirts, you know, and then like the same four pants. All my pajamas. I just wear a pajama. I don't. I feel like such a slug. I feel like a sloth. I just. I, I don't. I'm not very presentable. But I mean, you know, you're in the comfort of your home, own home, so like you're not gonna dress up. But I really do not feel much of a human being <laughs> when uh, these days. Or I guess you know the past year. Uniqlo is nice, but I, I don't really own that many things. I, I do like their t-shirts. I think they're very comfortable. But I feel like most of my closet is uh, basically the same color. I don't have that much color in my closet. I buy a lot of white and black clothing and gray. Not so much color here. Yeah, I feel like Uniqlo has a very nice price point for the quality of their clothes. I will say that. Very comfortable. Lasts for quite a long time as well. And it just, they like offer like every basic thing you would need. Need. How's my Apex date with Eugene? I, we haven't had it yet, but we will soon. I haven't played Apex in quite some time, so. I must apologize for my, um... My lack of aim <laughs> when I when I do play, I will probably have zero aware. I was playing yesterday, and I, I I think I was just like jamming out to some music while I was playing with my friends, and they'd be like, "Yo, you, where are you?" And they just look at. I would be like half across the map from them, and I was just like, "I don't even remember how I got here. I was just looking for some loot." So they're just like uh we'll, we'll come to you or something i just i don't know what i was i was literally scavenging or something you're real rusty right now that's a lot you're always you're always icy with it cold yeah i'm ba i basically was loot gobbling it up where do i want to travel after COVID? i would really like to travel to korea in Japan, but mostly Korea because I haven't seen my family in a really long time, like my cousins, my uncles, my aunts, all my younger cousins and older cousins. I haven't seen them since 2006, so I mean, it's been quite some time. It would be nice to, you know, be able to see everyone again, so. Have I ever been to Singapore? Nope. I've heard good things about Singapore. My mom went to Singapore recently. She went to Singapore and Vietnam, I think, with her sister. 
my fluent in Korean. I am pretty good with reading and writing. I just don't really like speaking it much because I hate the way I sound. Yeah, I was in sixth grade. I think it was 2007 actually when I went. And I think I just, yeah, I was past sixth grade during that time or like the summer going into middle school, that's when I went to Korea. But yeah, it's been a really, really long time since I've been there. So it'd be nice to see everyone again. <clears throat> when I travel vlog, I mean, I don't know, like whenever I'm doing something, I just don't think about, oh, I'm going to take out my camera to record this type of thing, you know? So I feel like it's, it's not very natural, but if I had like the intentions of making one, then I'd probably remember to, you know, record things, but I feel like it's just not for me. But I think they look cool. I like watching travel vlogs, but I don't think I would be very good at doing those. You think I would be awkward? Yeah, I would be an awkward vlogger. I can't even imagine vlogging if I had to be honest. So yeah, thank you for the six months, I Thank you, thank you. I was just like, I'm pretty sure I tried recording a video once where I was outside and it was just probably the most awkward thing. And <laughs> I don't know if I could even like look at the camera. I just, I looked like I didn't want to be there. And you know, I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna even try, so yeah. I would rather just take everything in at the moment and experience it myself. Like, I feel like it's a little too over. Like, I feel like I won't be enjoying myself if I was too busy caught up, like recording everything, you know? It's hard. It's a, it's a little too much to manage. Yeah, I mean, props to those who, you know, can do all of that. But for me, it's definitely not for me, for sure. I, I cannot. Oh yeah, like people who record concerts, I'm like, how do you, unless if you have like something recording for you and it's like out of your way and it's like still, like, you know, shout outs to those who actually like record the whole thing so other people can watch it. But it's like, are you really enjoying your time when you're doing all of that? Or like, you're just doing that in general? I don't know, recording the, the iPad concert goers. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Like some people just like record a whole set on their phone or iPad or GoPro, whatever it is. And I'm just like, wow. Like they're just very stills too. So I'm like, hmm. I, I could just imagine they're just like doing this the whole time and yeah, yeah, yeah. I would just, you know, I'm just there for the experience. Maybe I'll like record one thing, but I would rather just have it be in the moment. And then like the people who do record it, I can go back and watch it because you know, they exist. And like, thank you for letting me relive this moment later on in my lifetime. You can record a few seconds, that's what I'm seeing. <laughs> I was just looking at my following list to see who's streaming. And Scara's stream title is I went out to I went outside today, I would not recommend. Now that that is a good stream title. What contest have I gone to? The only like artist concert that I've gone to was a K-pop concert and then after experiencing that, I was like, I'm never going to a K-pop concert ever again in my life. Actually, no way. I also went to KCON with Arya, like, what was it last? Two years ago? Thank you for the one year 100 Zupa. Thank, thank you. I got outside. Honestly, no, I recommend going outside. Outside is nice. I like getting that fresh breath of air. It's not... 
You know, after being caged inside for so long, going outside does feel nice. Getting some sun, getting the fresh air, all, all the things that you need. It's very, very nice. I've heard IU's concerts are really, really good and she's always good to her fans and like, you know, she gives, she gives everything and everyone says it's like really, like uh, super worth it. Any plans for the vaccine yet? I was actually looking up places, but it's so hard to book. I feel like every everywhere is very busy right now or it's like not available at the moment. At least where I am, but maybe I have to look a little more. Hi, Harley. Outside does feel nice and I feel like the weather's getting a lot nicer too, so. You have to get lucky and snipe one, you feel- yeah, I, I feel like I'll just check every now and then, but I feel like it would be hard to get in my area at least. Hi, Marlies. Cats over dogs? I like both. Both have their own individual ways of showing you affection. And, you know, they're very different animals too, so, and how they work. I like- I like both of them for- how they are. Will every upload to YouTube again? Yes, I will just <laughs> at some point in time. I keep saying this, but you know, I promise you one day. <clears throat> Have I ever had different kinds of animals? I've actually had a pet gerbil before. I've had a pet frog and I've had some fish and I've had a hamster. So yeah. Frogs freak you out. I want to show you guys Hari. Yeah, I had a pet frog in like fourth grade or something like that. Hey, Haru. They're disgusting. I mean, I don't know. I just really liked animals back then and I just wanted, I thought frogs were cool. So I wanted a pet frog. <laughs> But my parents were so annoyed of it croaking in the middle of the night and it wake them up so often, they're like, we can't deal with this anymore. So they, they just returned the, the frog. So it's like, okay. Excuse me, Haru, you're, you're on my keyboard. And I was like, goodbye. I named my frog, it was a green frog. I named him Greenie. <laughs> No, you know, you guys know that I'm really creative with my names, so... <laughs> like how I named my blue and red beta fish Reddy Blue. <laughs> I, I'm pretty, I had my beta fish in like third grade. I, <laughs> I just named my pets after the colors they were. I, not, I mean, like I got a little bit more creative with my names later on when I was when I've gotten older, like, at least I didn't name Haru, like, Gray or something, you know? I've, I've put some thought into the name or, you know, try to make it sound interesting. Haru, come here. Beta fish are really pretty, actually, though. Picky would like a word. Oh yeah, I remember. Picky. Okay, well, Pokemon names don't count, really. Hi, Ari Bear. Batty third, he just stared at you. I don't, I don't even know what it looks like because his head is just blocking everything for me, so. If I get a child, she'll just name them either son, daughter or son. No, 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 I, I don't know if I could, I would want to give my child a very, oh, okay. Kumo, hi Matt. That's not Kumo, this is Haru. Haru. Yeah, I don't know. He just wanted to look over my monitor for some reason. Yeah, Harold, this is a little Harold over here. Thank you for the three months, Kanji Dai. Thank, thank you. Bear. You want to say hello? Such a cutie. That's what I'm saying. Dude, I... <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've said that like... Uh, 
a good majority of the stream. I need to stop saying that. But the name them Hume 1 and 2. No, no. I would try to give them like cool sounding names if I ever had children. I would want them to like their name later on or, you know, currently, regardless of whatever age they are. Thank you for converting their sub. Howard and Candace. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's definitely what I'm going to name my children. Howard and Candace. Maybe like, maybe like these two. Maybe I'll make, maybe I'll have a son named Howard and I'll just make their middle name these. So, you know, it'll just all line up. Are you playing PoE tomorrow? Yes, I will be. Yeah, I mean, now, now when I stream, I think Haru will be in front of my monitor for the most time, so. Um, I'm excited to see how POE goes with him just being all over my my desk, you know. Sorry, it was a little inappropriate. <laughs> Have some shame, Haru. Don't do that. <laughs> he knows the medic. But yeah. Can I train Haru to press my dude? If my if Haru could do that, I he would be the best cat. I mean, he already Kumo and Haru are already the best cats in the world to me. But if they could do that for me, they would be like the best cats in the world. That's what I'm saying. Now, no way you just said that in front of them. What I'm saying, they're already the best cats in the world cutest floss mask forever that's what i'm saying yes i agree i need like another like how else can i say that's what i'm saying like i agree is that a better way to put it i concur are they both boys yes they are both boys true yeah tr true true is one that's boring come on that's what I, <laughs> I've been watching too many, too many inky videos. So like everything that he says just rubs off onto me. That, that type of deal. So I need to stop. And like, I keep saying the baby lines and then my friends keep calling me cringe where they're like, I, I, they, they just like don't enjoy it. I'm like, I'm so sorry, but I can't stop. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I'm just, I'm just like, my brain has been plagued, so that's why I've been saying. I need to read a book or something, like, my vocabulary has really gone off the deep end. Where I just say, let's go, that kind of thing. But, yeah, you know, I just, you guys already know, like, whatever. That was weak. I can't, <laughs> if I'm not in a game or in the situation... I can't, like, I can't be seen when I do it. Hit us with, with some of the, I can't. I'm, I'm not the baby. You guys know that one video where, where it's like, the girl's crying. She's like, please, you're not the baby. And then there's like a picture of Breach and he's like, let's go. That always makes me laugh. <laughs> like, I, I don't know, man. This is what I laugh at most of the time. I, I, I need to stop. <clears throat> Have I read Green Eggs and Ham? It has 50 words. Great book for vocab. I remember doing like a... Was it in first grade? We actually did like a little... I'm pretty sure they made us read that book with some... And then they actually brought in eggs and ham and we like put green food coloring in it. I don't remember. It was... It was very, like, vivid in my mind. Isn't that a doc- Haru! Hi! Hello! You- you did that too for some reason? I- yeah, I guess it was just like a- Something common, I suppose? 
I can't read my chat right now. Excuse me, good sir. Can you move your butt so I can read my? Can I see my monitor? <laughs> you wish your dogs got along as well as my cats. What do you mean, like your dogs don't get along with each other? You guys can hear him purr. How are you? He really likes rubbing his face against the microphone. He just likes rubbing his face against everything, honestly. Your older dog gets jealous of the new puppy so they don't like each other. Now, my cats... Kuma doesn't understand Haru's boundaries, so they don't get as... Uh, they don't get along with each other as well as you think they do. I have to, like... I have to, like, monitor them interacting. They're gonna bite my finger. Thank you, thank you. That's what I'm saying. Hi there. I can't read. <laughs> he keeps moving his head, so I can't read either. <laughs> I wish my cats would not tame it. Every time they go on the desk, they want to play with everything. No, he likes knocking everything off the desk too. His head moves too. Yeah, that's he does that a lot. He says reading. He says pay attention to me. There. Hi. I need to feed him soon actually. What time is it? 10 p.m. I usually feed him around this time because he wakes up at this time. Hi there. I don't know if you guys heard that, but he's so cute. Hi. He has like the smallest, cutest, highest pitched meows. Hello. It is small. Yeah, he has a very tiny meow. 10 p.m. breakfast. How old is he? He's 11 months now, I believe. Does my cat know tricks? No, he doesn't. But he will come to you every time you say his name or, you know, just I'm like, Haru, come here. He always comes over, but that's about it. Old enough to get B words. Haru... Haru would be Haru would be too shy to to approach a lady. I think he's a pretty pretty shy boy. Actually, no, he's very friendly. He would be he would be he would be good with the ladies for sure. Does Kumo know any tricks? Uh, he knows how to sit, but that's about it. Thank you for the sub with Prime Edward. Day. Thank you. Your cat keeps looking at the screen to see Haru. Oh, Haru. Oh. Yeah, he's just stretched out on the floor. He can backflip. He can backflip off the walls, yeah, but I mean, not, not on command. But he does it pretty often when he gets a, uh, when he has a lot of energy. Need a hard tail emote, honestly. Yeah, I think uh, it's it will it will be pretty common, for sure. Hi, hi. Uh, yeah, if he could backflip on command, he uh, yeah, he would definitely be out there on the internet. He would be the the best cat, like the best cat. Let's go. Uh, yeah, no, sorry, I can't. <laughs> I should not. The best. <laughs> Let's go. Sorry, I need to stop. You guys, you guys don't understand. You shouldn't understand it anyway. I, I, you know, after that, I need to go. I think I need to take my leave. I, I need to go find someone else now. Who, who's streaming right now? Let's see. Honestly, you know, I was, I was wondering, God, if do you guys know like how the baby memes even started? I was, I actually Googled it, like two days ago or something because I've always been wondering like why like where it started and then I remember seeing people saying like the baby convertible and it's just like his head stretched out on wheels that kind of thing but I just like wondered like where like how it even like originated so 
Yeah, and then every time I just <laughs> see those kind of things. I mean, it makes me laugh, but then at the same time, I just like don't understand where it comes from. And then, you know, everyone's like, you look like the baby, right? Like that kind of thing. I'm just like, what is that even supposed to mean? And then like, you know, after seeing everyone say, I'm like, I suppose, I mean, like it's supposed, it's used as like, a compliment you know you're like if you're looking good you're like you kind of look like the baby you know but i'm just like oh it's kind of random to say but i mean do you know who's your baka tiktok uh no i don't know but there's this one guy there's this one guy on tiktok that i keep watching and like he brings up like <laughs> thank you thank you for the eight months uh Akizuri, you feel ugly. Oh my god. There's this one guy on TikTok where he just... I, I, I can't bring myself to say it out loud. It's just too, like... He brings up, like, really old memes from, like, 2010. I mean, like, he's definitely doing it on... He's doing it on purpose to be cringe funny. And I find it really funny. Like, I laugh out loud every single time I watches tiktoks but it's like it's like a unhealthy addiction like i know like i'm probably like cutting off some years of my life watching this because it's like in the inside it like hurts so much but like at the same time i just think it's like the funniest thing ever so it's like i just can't what's the username i think his like his name is like mart i know it says martin in it or something wait i i need to go find the tiktok i will i'll, I'll uh, probably I think she has that memorized. <laughs> Whenever I say I, I think it's like, it's <laughs> like every time I watch these this guy's TikTok, I just find myself cracking up all the time. Hold on, I'm trying to find the one where I just laugh all the time. I'm like, I'm hovering over his TikToks to see which one, the one I'm thinking of is, and I just... I I won't play the audio because it'll probably make you guys cringe really hard, but... <laughs> it's this one, it's this one. You guys have to watch this one. I like it. This came up on like my For You page, and I started laughing so hard, and I just went through all of his TikToks, and it was just like... It was just like a wild ride. I'm not going to show it on stream because I'll spare you guys. But if you want to know what I'm laughing about, the link is like right there, you know, so. The tear at the end like top tops it off. Like it just makes me laugh so much. <laughs> You're still cringing. I just, I had to show my friends and I was laughing so hard, but they're just like... You didn't laugh. You know, it's not for everyone, but I I laughed, okay? I thought it was funny, and I thought it was really cringy, but it was just funny. So I just, I can't stop watching his videos. Yeah. <clears throat> I haven't heard the word angie in forever. That's what I'm saying. It's just like, he's just dug up these old, <laughs> old... Memes. I'm just thinking about all of his TikToks. So it just makes I, yeah. Sorry. If you guys don't think it's funny, it's fine. I didn't expect you to think it's. I'm just. I'm just saying. Like I just thought it was funny, so I just decided to share. <laughs> stop, Matt. Stop. <laughs> How can I unwatch it? Yeah, I should have. I mean, I told you guys it was like cringy. So if you don't like that kind of stuff, then you don't have to watch it. But. The tear at the end is just like, is the cherry on top. <laughs> just, that's how I feel. But anyways, I, I gotta go. And I'm gonna just refresh my following page. I'm gonna go host. I'm gonna host Yvonne. What a way to end the stream, I know. Uh, sharing is caring, right? So... I think Yvonne is playing anyways. Yeah, oh! Uh, I don't even know how I dragged that all the way over there. But, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. It's not like I'm gonna go watch those guys' TikToks. 
uh, when I end the stream or anything like that, but yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow because I have to stream PoE and I will be playing PoE because PoE leak starts tomorrow at 1 p.m. PT for you all if you guys are playing leak start, but make sure to wake up earlier, you know, maybe at like, maybe like two, three hours before the league actually starts so you can get in those login queues if you care, you know? So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Oh, I just pressed those instead of... You guys are ready to go over to Yvonne's stream. Let let's go. Can you tell? I I wouldn't. Don't uh, I, don't tell her. I just said that. But let's go. <laughs>